Afridi in much earlier than he would have wished. Again, outside the line is my call. But Afridi never picked that one either. Let's wait for the signal. They're asking for it. There was no signal from the umpire, so maybe he thought Afridi did get an icon to that one. Uh, we're soon going to see. It is all happening here in Sharjah on a Sunday. This will be fine. He's miles back, Prasanna. He's never anywhere in terms of no ball. But let's have a look at this. Mendes getting there. There's that wrong one again. Waste. He's not hit it at all, but hitting him outside the line. Even though it's hitting the stumps, but it's not here. As long as he's playing a shot, he's safe. Shahid Afridi. So it's been a waste. I did think it was outside the line initially, and I think the Sri Lankans a little too excited. There we get the signal from the umpire. It's 72 for five. Well, no one really getting on with it. The top three getting starts. I'm able to get on. Sri Lanka going for the kill. Plus it's Malinga. He's been brought back and Shahid Afridi still to get off the mark. Anxious moments here. Gets the gap. That was in the slot. Shahid Afridi, he's not one to hold back. No, he sure isn't. And they're loving it there in the terraces. But, uh, I've got to say, it's a nice, uh, friendly, full one with uh, Malinga starting another new spell. And a uh, nice little ripper through off stump. what he's looking for to be right up there not really quickly on to five or three and he had to come in earlier than he expected because Umar Akmal totally deceived by Jeevan Mendis they need to build 200 220 they got a good, good bowling attack they got to bank them or back them quick single oh, direct hit would definitely would have had Miss Baulha Come back for two though. Now the batters are applauding each other, but uh, a little bit of panic stations in terms of uh, possible running here because he stuttered there and a direct hit. Oh, it would have been very tight, very risky to take that given the match situation. Yeah, he's made his ground, got a good dive in his bowl hook. Slow ball, dipping on Shahid Afridi. But an expensive one. Eight off it, 80 for five. Single off the first ball to Shahid Afridi. The combox, Roshana Besinger with Bakarian. Ras Lanel, thank you. Pakistan uh, in some trouble here at the moment. Sri Lanka have come back strongly. Mendes was superb. All couple of googlies. Uh, normally you talk about Pakistani batsmen knowing the spinners pretty well. Had no clue which way that those couple of deliveries were going to turn. This is big. Very good use of the feet. And it's on the roof. No, in fact, it's in the crowd. But that's what Saeed Afridi can do. Now, can it be his day today? He is a big occasion player. And look at the use of his feet. Tossed up, down the wicket, bang. He loves it. He just loves using his feet and getting to the pitch. And I have not seen many batsmen doing it with such a control. Oh, good comeback. Good run out chance there. 
Oh, he's gone. Miss by is gone, I guess. That is unreal, unbelievable. It happened in the last over also. Nearly run out on this occasion. He's gone, Miss Bach. But yes, I agree with you, uh, Waka, because this is a big crowd, noisy crowd. They've been behind Pakistan, so there was every chance that Afridi didn't hear the call. And also, don't forget, he was beaten. He wasn't sure where the ball was. So there you are. So that was the end result. Ms. Baul Haq uh, completely outside the crease. This was the first one. Yeah, it was the third game, and again, he just sacrificed himself for Yunis Khan. And here, there was no sacrifice. He was running. And uh, he had passed the notice and return point. But that was a wicket Pakistan couldn't afford to lose at this stage. Slow delivery. Everybody's trying those. Not sacrificing from Afridi, that's for sure. But I, I couldn't understand why do we need the cheeky runs here. We saw the last one over before that. The lovely slow delivery. An over before that, Miss Paul Huck almost got run out and straight away very next door this very next ball literally and miss by sitting in the hut right end of the over it's 101 for six so prasanna now coming on at the far end see kuge prasanna quickish leg spinner afridi will be the man that uh, they will look to and take the initiative build on something big give them something to bowl at Whoa! that's a wide interestingly Afridi was just moving as uh, Prasanna was trying to bowl he was he was trying to put him off marks look at it just move to the leg and then yeah. quickly got back to the off again Well, Afridi definitely is going to look to trouble the spinners. He he doesn't mind moving away from it. the stumps, showing the ball of his stumps that he should aim at the stumps so he can just maybe hit over the top. He will do that. He'll come down the track also. Nicely done. Safraz is uh, going nicely and quietly well. He's the phase 14 delivery for his nine. I think that sort of a job is required at the moment from him. Drag the game a little longer. Well, that's off an outside edge. Now could have been trouble. Both batsmen were in the middle of the pitch. Afridi wanting a run. Oh, Mahila Jayawardana had cover. In a not, not a very accustomed position for the Sri Lankan veteran. Ball sliced off an outside edge now. Freddy wanted the run. That's another wide. Well, this series, the entire series, not only the Pakistan, even the Sri Lankans, they have troubled running between the wicket. You know, Sangakara had trouble in the last match, got run out, and then we've seen Misbah twice, and uh, we're seeing the. I'm not really sure it's a pressure or they can't seem to judge the run. So another one. Now oh, this is unbelievable. Now why is he spraying down the leg side? It's a freebie. It's a pressure of Rudy. I promise you that. You know the way he's just moving in his crease is really putting pressure on a youngster. He's a smart customer. That's it. That's better. But don't ball full. That's what he's looking for. Afridi is looking for anything fuller. He's looking for over the cover. Last ball of the over coming up. Well, might want to go over extra cover. Let's see. There is a gap if he wants to. He gets it down to long off. Sensible cricket. 118 for six. Sri Lanka needs to try and get wickets quickly. Can't afford this partnership to carry on. But they have bowled well. This was a start. A loosener, but a good catch. 
I think that's how it started and uh, that's what Sri Lanka needed. They needed something special to happen. And uh, and this over was the key. Look at this. No idea Sir Malik. No idea Omar Akmo. And almost no idea. And I had idea of Freedy even the first ball. So the leg spinners had really done a great job. Run out. That was terrible. That's where the Pakistan uh, downfall started. The lonely man standing out there, Shahid Afridi, and he's looking really good. Well, he plays the best when there's no pressure, and at the moment, I don't think he'll be feeling any pressure. He's playing as a bowler. He... Ooh, chance of a OBW. He's also trying to be sensible. He he just wants to be very watchful and focused. You wouldn't find Saida Freddy pushing defensively forward too much. And again, this is good bowling. Mendes has been mixing it up. He's he's been very impressive today. He's impressive because he's been mixing it. Now look at that googly spun, and he also bowled the leg spin quite quite well. I think the pitch also suited him well. It's a slow, low pitch. It's not really bouncing much. So I think he's, he's not big. He's not a huge guy. But I think that's one big reason that he's getting those balls, skits, and turning a little bit also. So that is really causing Pakistan a huge amount of problem. Lasit Malinga is back. And so is the batting power play for Pakistan. That's compulsory, as you know. And in the commentary box, Anajah Surya. And Danny Morrison. Thank you, Roche. Twilight here in Sharjah. It's lovely pink clouds. It's, uh, pink at night, Shepherd's Delight. And a bit of delight in the form of Lasith Malinga. Brought back again. And he's up against uh, Afridi. Who won't hold back with the batting power play. But it's just the single. And now, Afridi batting with the engine room. Numbers 9, 10 and 11 have to hang around for him. G'day, Sanath. G'day, Danny. Bill Shan, the Sri Lankan team must be really happy today. The way they're playing at the moment. They got the breakthroughs. They're bowling well, they fielded well. They got seven wickets, 421. They wanted to give the strike back to Boom Boom Afridi. And uh, you now got there in the end, it was going to be tight, but it's the right thing to do. That's right, they were direct hit. Would have been out. Key for Pakistan is Afridi now. If Afridi can go through this crucial five overs, then Pakistan has a chance, Danny. Otherwise, the Pakistan find it difficult today. The way the Sri Lankans bowl, especially Dilara Fernando, got the breakthrough earlier on. He bowled really well. Missed it, misfielded. There's a poor fielding. And Prasanna gave it to Sydney Harbour Bridge. Should have done better. Searching for the Yorker. And he just misses it. Malinga, but uh, naughty. Not supporting your teammates. Got to stop everything. They're on a roll, Sri Lanka. They're in the driving seat. All those sort of cricketing cliches, they're there. They just want to knock over and finish the job. Don't give them anything. Particularly the man on strike. Nice change of pace. That's right, Danny. That's it, Malinga. I don't think he'll be happy. 
the team need to support the bowler stop all these singles the last one is a slow one he got a very good slow one and he got a very good slow a full toss and also yorkers is a key bowler for sri lanka and the fuller length for afridi as he lasit malinga try to bowl a fuller length afridi it really hard he was hitting too hard he need to be calm and cool this this time he need to make sure he uses the players tail enders wisely this time one to go from milling in the 36th six from it with the boundary and a couple of singles third man and finally up inside the 30 meters they want the single wants the strike as a freedy and uh, good running from ajmal good reaction and uh smart running between the wickets 36 gone 127 for 7 145 for 7 and, uh, batting power play it's uh 25 off 5 and sitting the seven down not too bad a result for pakistan Freedy, it's one stroke away from uh, another very good half century. 36, Ajmal 7. Partnership of uh, 25 from 34. Prasanna back on. He's uh, excited the bowler, but uh, I think there's a little bottom edge here. We'll just wait for the signal from uh, Hillingworth. Yes, there's a bit of bottom edge, thanks. Improvising shot from Afridi. Just want to paddle sweep. We want to hit finer. The wicket keeper and Lasit Malinga. And Ajmal work towards leg side for a single. Pakistan targets target must be that it's about just over 200 or 210 runs. They must be looking at this stage. But they need to bat for 10 overs. And to do that, Afridi has to be there. He does, and I was just wondering, when is he going to launch? And guess what? Right on cue, he brings up his 50 in style. Gives himself room and slots it over extra cover for six. Well played, Afridi. That was a brilliant shot from Afridi. Just got room himself for a leg spinner and hit over extra cover for six. He's just dying things up here because Prasanna is into his ninth over. Couple left. He says, There you go, have a look at those three things the stumps. And he is just such a class act over the offside in the air. And again, Fuller. From Pasana. So just a single one delivery to go in the over. So it's good result this for Pakistan. Nine off. And there is that uh, glorious extra cover drive for six. Salutes the crowd. Such a showman. 154 for seven. Best partnership of the innings so far. Ajmal and Afridi. Sikuge Prasanna will continue. Goes down the ground. And he's overrun it. That's another mistake from the Sri Lankans. Angelo Matthews, Sri Lanka's best fielder, I would say. Yes, it turned out to be a wrong gun for Angelo Matthews. Straight ball, hit straight. Afridi was looking. Hopefully that the ball will go across the line, but not like this. Gets it over the top again. And that's four more. You notice he's been very clever. 
Well, this is not good cricket from uh, Sri Lanka. They've released the pressure and they've allowed uh, Afridi to explode. A real half trigger put away. And another desperate effort, but uh, it needed more than that. Now, Ramis, he's been smart because he didn't try to take Dilhara Fernando on. We all know he's much more comfortable against the slower bowlers. He's waited for his opportunity. Opportunity for a run out. Always risky business when you introduce spin at the fag end of the innings. Two bounders. The first one was a good contribution from Angelo Matthews. Beaten by the spin. And a one-handed hit over cover. And now a slog. He won't get four. But he'll get two. Interesting field also for Afridi. He's been going over extra cover. Sri Lanka got a deep extra cover in place and a point and a short third man. It's the areas where he can use the long handle that the Sri Lankans have covered. 49 of 50, this partnership. And make that 55 of 51. That is a beautiful shot. Afridi at his best. Hardly seemed to have hit that one and it went away in a flash for a magnificent six. Have a look at that one. Glorious shot, clearing the man, Angelo Matthews, quite easily. What a good over this is turning out to be for Pakistan. 16 runs from it. Still a ball to go. He's got, got the bowler under tremendous pressure. Already 17 runs off the over. He'll be looking to get off strike. Just wondering if that ball is kidding on a bit more. The lights are on. And on the lights, that's what we know. What pitches will do. But he goes long again. Dilharo Fernand on the boundary line. Steadies himself. And he's dropped it. Well, absolute uh, mess was Dilharo Fernando. Messy fielding effort from Sri Lanka in this over. Pakistani fans are happy. Afridi lives uh, for another over. He can't believe it, Dilara Fernanda. It's 178 for seven. That was that last over. 19 runs off it. More importantly, from Sri Lanka's point of view, they've dropped Afridi. Dilara Fernando, he's got hands like buckets. And he's had a great day today. He's bowled really well. His confidence would have been really high. Well, Sri Lanka clearly in that last over struck down by fielding lapses. First couple of boundaries were conceded and then Delara Fernando let himself down. Now this really should have been held. He's got buckets like hands but it leaked. It leaked the catch. He couldn't believe it where it was. And a costly miss to be sure he would have hurt that ball look at it bounce off his body Ajmal does it again gets off strike could be the due factor also you don't know in the field in the deep whether the ball is uh, is carrying uh, a bit of moisture or not and certainly when it comes at you you seem to, to drop it grass it slip it Lots of notes to be taken. Juan Kalpage, he's Sri Lanka's fielding coach. Not bouncing too much and hence hitting the bottom of the bat. He steadied himself. But couldn't hang on. This is what I mean. He's not trying to take everyone on. He's waiting for his moments. Oh no. A jerky end in the end. He couldn't believe it. Prasanna. He wanted more from the fielders in that over. Goes again. 
would be just a single. Yakusana's last ball, and he'd just been taken apart by Afridi. Could have been a great end for him. The ball in to come. Malinga has three, Fernando two. Tisura Pereira one after this, so that's six overs. So we won't see spin again. Sri Lanka can go with their faster men. But in these situations, Afridi. I mean, Sri Lanka know all about him. He's got the fastest 100 against them. Well, they clearly want to attack, uh, say that's a lot of men in the ring. One, two, three, four, five in the circle. Two more balls to be bowled in this over. What will Ajmal do? Well, that's splendidly done. Walks across the stumps and uh, puts it away for one and exposes a strike to Afridi once again. This partnership 61 and now clearly hurting Sri Lanka. It's always partnerships. Batsmen complementing each other. That's how it works. One playing for the other. One takes control for sure. And that's Afridi. But he can't do it on his own. They're all chanting, Afridi, Afridi. Well, he's, uh, he's back there at the crease and this is what the fans wanted from him an intelligent knock he's given him the bat did hit the ground and that's the moment the ball would have hit the bat as well but sangakara good reach a fabulous take and afridi has to leave he was initially trying to hoodwink uh, the umpire but uh, Zamir had a sight and it was a good catch. So Sri Lankans not massively hurt by that drop chance, but nevertheless, the momentum is once again with Pakistan. Let's see what they achieve out of the last few overs. It's gone after playing one very impressive innings for 75, 181 for eight.